Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my sketchbook and I'm just going to take you through a little bit of a walkthrough of what I've done so far. This is a sketchbook I started last summer. I haven't done much in it just because I've been really busy with work, um, but I will give you a quick little tour of what I've done and show you in more de detail one of the spreads I've just done for June and um, just tell you a little bit about all those illustrations. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. So this is my current sketchbook. This is the June page that I was referring to um, that documents some of my sightings and visits to the marsh in June. And I'll show you the rest of the sketchbook as well. It's a hardcover pentallic watercolor sketchbook, 140 pound cotton paper. I bought it at my local art store and I've been quite happy with um, the layout and size of it as well as the quality of paper. And I'll just flip to the beginning. I had a few pages I cut out just because I didn't really like them and they were practice pages. And then I just put some decorative tape over where um, I cut the pages out. It's not always recommended to do that, but um, I just, I really didn't think the other pages went with the rest of the sketchbook. So I'll try not to do that again. That's a, la a painting from last summer, just loose florals kind of, experimenting with um, loose floral watercolor painting but still being able to kind of tell what type of flowers they are. Um, that's some wax flowers that were inspired by some of the flowers in my wedding bouquet. These are flowers from um, my garden last year late summer that I was just painting while sitting outside. And then this page is inspired by Edith Holden's country diary of an Edwardian lady. There's blackberries and horse chestnut. And it was while I was in school, so I didn't have a lot of time to make my own drawings and um, painting from reference photos. So I sort of took some of the drawings um, or paintings in her books and um, used part of the layout and then painted it um, in a similar style. I like how the blackberries worked out because I feel like they look like blackberries, but they didn't take very long to paint um, because they're just a little bit more impression impressionistic than going every little um, bit by bit on the berry so it makes it more realistic to be able to paint something in your sketchbook without taking forever and I really like how the leaves worked uh, I just did like single washes on them and this page here is kind of like an animal map of the marsh that I drew and I haven't had time to paint it yet but it's an aerial view of the marsh and the trail and the animals I've seen in each part of the trail so I'm really excited to paint that one I think it'll be really cool when it's done um, it's the first time I've done this style of layout and one of my goals with this sketchbook is to try different sorts of layouts and um, sort of like infographic style entries. So um, this next page is again out of the Edith Holden book. This is the um, Woody Nightshade and I really liked how she painted the leaves so it was interesting to experiment with that and I really liked how this one worked out. I think I painted it near Christmas and I felt like the berries were really festive. This is another fall winter spread from the Edith Holden book. Um, so that's inspired by the holly she did. And then I didn't get to finish this, but there'll be some privet berries and ivy. And I sort of sketched in what I'm going to draw and paint. Um, and then I'll just leave that till fall winter again and finish it up then. This is a spread I did in May while I was camping. I haven't finished painting it. Um, but I drew some of the things I collected at our campsite, so salmonberry blossoms, dogwood flowers, um, huckleberry that wasn't in blossom yet, and then some scotch broom. Um, I'll update you guys on this spread um, in another video because I have painted more on it since this video. Um, and then on the other page, there's a whole bunch of ferns. All the ferns were coming out in May and they were all sprouting up and really fresh and beautiful. So. Um, I can't wait to go back and paint this too. One of my biggest challenges is just lack of time, so trying my best, but um, I had a really good time drawing this. It was really fun. Here's the June page that um, this video is kind of centered around. 
So I've been experimenting with trying to add some animals and little landscape vignettes into my studies. I think it brings the study to life and it also like takes the viewer to where you were a little bit more and puts context to the plants. So on the bottom there, I just made a little text block and it says what's in bloom right now at the time, what was coming into bloom and what animals I'd seen. And so there were lots of little baby rabbits out and actually the squirrel depicted up on the top left is um, a baby squirrel. They're little black baby squirrels and they're super cute. Um, and then wild roses were out and buttercups. I put the buttercup near the rabbit because the bunnies are in the buttercup patches. I don't think they were eating the buttercups, but like the grass within the buttercup patch. And then there's a little view of the marsh and all the lily pads and the yellow flag irises that were out at the time. And then I took this rose home and it kind of fell apart. Um, I meant to do an intact painting, but then I thought it was kind of neat having the one petal left on it and seeing more of the center of the rose. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this spread worked out and yeah, I'm trying to practice painting animals um, less formally, sort of looser, you know, quicker um, entries into my sketchbook so I can still paint them. I still like doing the for formal animal paintings, um, which I haven't done one in a long time, but um, yeah, just, you know, being a little bit more casual about it and not worrying about everything being exactly perfect. I've been really enjoying that. And the pen I'm using here is the um, Daedler waterproof ink pen, kind of like a Pigma Micron pen. This next page, um, you may notice part of the studies in another video. I did a painting video on the night flowering catch fly, so you can check that out on my channel as well. And then I haven't finished the other part of the painted portion. I titled it Out at Night because they're things I've seen sort of in my garden and blooming at night. So there's some, some garden snails that I was watching and took some pictures of while they were out and about at night and I found them really cute looking so I'm looking forward to painting those and then a zoomed out um, view of the night flowering catch fly and then I also saw a spider on a mint leaf um, the other night so I drew that in as well so I'm looking forward to painting those and that's as far as I've gotten in this sketchbook I will keep you posted on progress as I go um, and I hope you enjoyed seeing what I've painted so far Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'd love it if you left a comment below letting me know what type of watercolor paintings you'd like to see next.